Mark Wahlberg is calling Father Stew one of the most rewarding films of his entire career. He was so moved by this true story of redemption and second chances that when studios turned it down, he spent millions of his own money to finance it. The actor tells Jose Sanders the theme of salvation will speak to a lot of people during this Easter and Passover weekend. Your son is about to make a huge mistake. Well, I'm going to be a priest. For Halloween. Stuart Long knocked around as a low-level boxer with dreams of Hollywood. A crash nearly took his life, and he became a man of faith. That belief was tested by crippling illness, but Stuart used his faith to reach others in despair. You are excited about this project, too. You're passionate about this. What made you want to tell Father Sue's story? Oh, it was such an inspiring story. I thought it, it certainly inspired me, and I thought it's it's certainly an important story, especially right now. People are losing faith and losing hope. What you guys get one phone call a week in here? Who you gonna call, huh? When no one else gives a what you got to say, God does. Do you see any parallels in your life where you came from as to just the way Absolutely. Stewart came from a place? Absolutely. And, you know, I think that's why he was so good at what he did. You know, when you see him doing his prison ministry, you know, that would have or could have easily been his life. It was his life for a time. Men don't lose when he gets knocked down, but when he won't get up. Both Wahlberg and his co-star Mel Gibson know what toxic behavior can do to your life. In this day and age, people need to know that more than anything, that nobody is beyond redemption and that we want to love and embrace and accept people for who they are and encourage people to be the best versions of themselves. I ain't giving up on you. Don't you dare go giving up on yourself. Did this film make you feel better about yourself? Certainly making this movie and the importance of this film and the responsibility that I have to continue to spread Stu's message and to do God's work, it just challenges me every day to get back up, start on my hands and my knees, and then, you know, do what I need to do to go out and conquer the day. I wish you can pray for an easy life, but the strength to endure a difficult one. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.